Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to continue with the math paper 2. We are by we are going to handle question 7 in this paper. And it is a question in logarithms, further logarithms. Whereby we are told we are told that uh, solve for x in the equation the given equation here logarithm to base 8 of x plus 6 minus logarithm of x minus 3 to base 8 equals to 2 thirds therefore here we apply the laws of logarithms because we know that uh, when we have a logarithm of a minus a logarithm of b this can be solved by having just logarithm then a and b divided due to this law of logarithms then we can apply the same because you have a minus here such that we will just take the logarithm to base 8 of x plus 6 divided by x minus 3 then we equate this one to two thirds so now we can change this equation from being in logarithm form to what we call index notation because we know that when we have the logarithm of a to base b equals to c in index notation this one is equal to b raised to c b raised to c should give us a when b is raised to c we should get a so that is what should be known here such that now we can say 8 raised to 2 out of 3 8 raised to 2 thirds should give us x plus 6 out of x minus 3 so at that stage we can take again the laws of indices on this side because we know that when we have a number a raised to m out of n this is usually solved by taking the nth root of a then we raise everything to power m such that now let me underline the paper such that now from here we can say the third root of 8 then we square everything third root of 8 then squared that is a fractional law of indices this should give us x plus 6 out of x minus 3 so the third root of 8 is 2 when squared it becomes a 4 so 4 equals to x plus 6 out of x minus 3 when we cross multiply we will have 4x minus 12 equals to x plus 6 so we take x to this side 3x equals to 18 when negative 12 goes to this side so x equals to 6 so that is one method of solving this question alternatively we can apply the laws of logarithm again we have a law of logarithm which says when we have the logarithm of a to base a this one is equal to one so according to the base in this question which is eight then we can say the log of eight to base eight equals to one and uh, we apply it on the right hand side of the equation so alternatively alternatively to this question we could have said the logarithm to base 8 of x plus 6 minus the logarithm to base 8 of x minus 3 should equal to 2 out of 3 the logarithm of 8 to base 8 because the logarithm of 8 to base 8 is 1 then 2 thirds has not been affected in value so it is just the same so we further apply the laws of logarithm the first law of logarithm we had applied for this side then on the right hand side we will apply the law of logarithm which says that when we have n to the logarithm of a this can be solved by just having the logarithm of a then raised to power n and this means we can have the logarithm to base 8 x plus 6 divided by x minus 3 then we equate this one to instead of two thirds 
log of 8 to base 8. Now we take log of 8 to base 8, then this one is to power third. That one is to power third, such that now we can have the log to base 8 of x plus 6 divided by x minus 3, and we equate this one to the logarithm to base 8. When 8 is raised to 2 thirds, it means the third root of 8, which is 2, then squared, which gives us a 4. So after that, because the bases are the same, then we can drop logarithms and we equate x plus 6 out of x minus 3 to 4. We drop logarithms. So when we cross multiply, x plus 6 should equal to 4x minus 12. And when we group like terms together, we will have 3x on this side. And this one becomes positive 18, such that dividing through by x by 3 to remain with x, we will get a 6. So the two methods could have been used to approach the same question. Thank you for following. Kindly subscribe to this channel and share the link.